Got an HKL guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are here with more weapons to go over, continuing on with the seasonal, well, episodes sort of trend, because it's episodes now, guys. It's always got to be seasons, really. But episode echoes, of course, did arrive yesterday, bringing a ton more new weapons and everything. And what we're going to be going over today is going to be, of course, this freaking Sightline Survey. So Sightline Survey is going to be the new Arcan Can. As I said, you can kind of get from the uh, the episodes. It's going to be very vexy. It's going to be super vexy, if you know what I'm saying. Because, like, look at it. Oh, my God. The vex aesthetics on it and how vexy it looks. Oh, it's a beautiful ass hand can. I mean, I'm not going to lie. These episode weapons all look hella freaking dope. They might be chonkers, but they look dope. But this is, of course, the hand can you can get. It's going to be 180 RPM and everything, too. So, I know straight away a lot of people would say it's not really a good archetype. But on console, actually, this is really, really dope. Well, you can, of course, get the sand cannon is by doing the failsafe sort of quest line. You eventually get at least one. I know for a fact you get this from the quest line. Anyway, I know with the auto yesterday, people were saying they weren't getting drops and anything like that. You should get it from the quest line or else you should be able to get it just by randy spamming these sorts of orbs. You eventually might get one and then you can kind of focus it. But the sightline survey, it should be still really, really dope. You can see on the screen all the sorts of roles you can get. So you can get, of course, some of the juicy R perks like Vault Shot, which is going to be super nice. You get Precision Instrument on this. You can get Keep Way. Uh, the Fragile Focus is actually pretty dope too. And it will, of course, have this Argent Trait too, the Radio Loria Transposer. So Rapid Final Blows cause targets to explode into a pool of Radio Lorian fluid. Again, this is actually really, really dope in PvE. I think, honestly, PvE, when it comes to hand cannons, this could be a really, really sweet. I mean, the Vault Shot's going to be dope anyway. You got things, as I said, like that uh, keep away. But also, because you have this Arden trait, it could be really, really sweet. So I'm saying right now that this might be worth picking up. And also, guys, as I said, it looks hella dope. So you have all that going for it too. But can't just take my word for it. We're going to showcase what this is like in both some PvP, PvE. Actually, before I say that, this is craftable too. So all these perks are enhanceable because it is going to be an episode weapon. It is going to definitely be craftable so you can get uh, red borders and stuff. But... As I said, we gotta try it out in some PvP PvE. So what further ado, let's go into PvP with the Sightline Survey. Alrighty, so we are gonna be on the meltdown with a little Vexy weapon that could in the survey itself. This thing is actually really dope, but wait till you hear this. <laughs> I love the noise so much. The sound on this gun is so freaking sick, and that's a weird ass name. Oh my god. <laughs> With this weapon, it sounds honestly so vexy. It sounds like a droid actually going off. That's like the, the main thing I hear when I shoot this thing. And that is a lot of people we got to kill though. But it makes me sound like I'm a freaking droid. And like I'm having to fight against a bunch of Jedis. It's really, really dope. Now the one thing I will definitely say is that this is going to be a 180 hand cannon. And I'm not even getting it. Guys, can you stop robbing all my freaking kills? I need to get this kill clip going. There we go. We get the reload going. And now we should be able to triple tap. Now, I'm not going to say I'm going to triple tap. Oh, we triple tapped. <laughs> well, obviously, it is a 180 and everything. So, it kind of does struggle, I would say, PvP. If you get someone who's good with these, though, they will delete you. But against normal ass hand cannons, that can just, like, you know, out to, out to kill you a lot more consistently. You will get people using them a lot more often. But, of course, any sort of radiant or any sort of damage buff on these is going to be really nice. And... He actually went for it. What a hero. Oh my god, I'm really dead. Guys, shh. Don't let them know I'm 1 HP. Do not let them know I'm 1 HP. <laughs> but any sort of damage buff, like kill clips, you got radiance and everything. Any sorts of damage buffs like them, they will do really, really well. And I will let you just absolutely blast people. But I will definitely say, it's getting the first kill. That is usually the hardest part. I guess you can kind of see. It's a really kind of accurate sort of weapon. So on console, it does really, really well. But against other sorts of weapons. Oh, I triple tapped. Oh, buddy, buddy. Oh, did you not What? Oh, okay. I thought I died to like a freaking pool or something. That was going to be so sad. But you can see, kill clip on it makes it so nasty. I have triple tap on this too, which I know people would say keep way better. Of course it would. But I just think that this weapon, it definitely has a place. It's just that if you're going to ask me would I go in with this instead of, of course, going in. Did I not get the other guy? Oh, guys, what the hell just happened? Oh my God. Freaking hero just went for it. But yeah, if you're going to compare this to like, a, I don't know, freaking Igneous Hammer or something like that. Something else the energy that's an energy or a legendary. And also a hand cannon. Yeah, realistically, you're not going to see this too often. I mean, it still does connect though. Oh man, he just got freaking annihilated. Double tap this guy and oh baby, we're hitting some dome skis. Get this guy too. I didn't even get the kill. Oh, this is the rage. Holy rage. What the? What the hell am I going that far? What is this? Did 180s get a buff or something? Oh Yo, I am sticky right now. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh. oh we're gonna slam it on his ass. Oh, let's do them. Boys, boys, don't all have to fight over me like that. There's enough of me to go around for the two of you. Oh, God, we're actually dropping people with this. I was not expecting 
to do well with this at all. I thought I'd do all right, but my good God, is it hitting some headshots? It feels so sticky. Ah! No, my well! Get me back to my well, my safety haven, my freaking man cave. I still will say, though, if anything alone, I know I'm getting some kills and everything, but I will still say that the fact that this sounds so nice is 100% a reason. Oh! I got freaking bondage. Oh my god, buddy. Dinner first, please, before you tie me up. It's, you know the freaking rules, and that's a symmetry at range. There's a little bit of fall off I was kind of talking, though, is that it does have, um, a, like I'd say, lowish range. That's why I was so surprised I was hitting some of the shots before. It will have some lowish range, and that's why people will go for um, some other roles that might just improve that range a little bit. Now, do not smoke me off. Oh, there we go. But people will definitely go for ones that will just give them a little bit more range. And oh, my arm, my elbow was just there. Why do you have to catch me? Huh? But people would definitely go for more range sorts of roles and everything. And maybe you get that if you get like enhanced sort of roles too. As I said, this is going to be craftable. So this isn't like it's, I'd say final version. Oh man, it's got deleted. Buddy, freaking worms. Can you stop? Why is there so many worms? Oh my God, we killed them. Okay, we were doing super, super well. And then we we're kind of getting spanked. So I want to get my kill streak kind of going again. No, guys, leave me alone for a sec. There is just their whole squad is just everywhere. I have kill clip going though, and it's gone. <laughs> oh, man. I will definitely say, as soon as you get kill clip going on this, it does turn into an absolute beast of a weapon. But it is kind of hard to kind of get it going all the time because it's legit just the first kill. The first kill is where you kind of struggle. Once you get that first kill, though, that is where this thing starts to absolutely clap people. And that's why I will say that the shot uh, and can. It does actually feel pretty nice. And I thought I didn't get the kill. My good God. It does feel nice. It's just I couldn't say in good faith. Other than this looks really, really vexy. It looks dope. And the sound like. I mean, that sound is just oh, serotonin right there. But other than that, I could not tell you to use this instead of using like a. I know a torn or something. Torn and everything would just be better. But he. <laughs> <laughs> at least he went for it we're just legit just sitting in here taking on the whole world buddy 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 <laughs> oh nice grapple you think you can just do that buddy i said did it freaking first and oh my god the whole team is here you know what screw this you think he's gonna just keep fighting me like that come on challenge me there's the 100 damage <laughs> they're all challenging a well what are they doing <laughs> oh man that was glorious the 100 damage per crit is Honestly, kind of nutty. I'm not going to lie. The double tap. Oh, baby. 180 RPM. And I actually did really well with this. I was not expecting that. This has surprised me to no end. But I will definitely say that. I couldn't say you should go in with this over Ignis. But if you're good with these hand cannons, this is one you should definitely get your hands on. It feels good. This thing is sticky as balls. Alrighty. Time for the PvE side things, of course. With the little survey that could. And I will definitely say this weapon. It feels real juicy, but it's got to be even better in PvE because it does have Vault Shot, which is this role I'm using right now. I am going to have Vault Shot and To The Pain on this, so... Oh my god, look at this. Look at all the Radiolorium fluid and freaking Lost Signals going in. But with, of course, Vault Shot, it's got to be really nice once you start getting kills. You can definitely see Vault Shot. It just kind of goes ham. I, I think Vault Shot PvE is just one of those. Any of the verb perks, Vault Shot, Volatile Rounds, um, Incandescence, they always just do really, really well. So in a good sort of uh, arc build... You will absolutely clap people with this hand cannon. It's going to be really dope. It has triple tap too, so if you want to keep the bullets kind of going, it is nice. There is also other perks too for damage, like desperate measures and all that sort of jazz. But the vault shot's actually really nice because I know right now, of course, um, I have I get vault shot kind of going. Like you see, it's really nice. And then when you get the pools going, because that's the rapid kills, it is pretty sick for that. But this is an overload hand cannon season too. So if you think about it in a different season, imagine you got barrier jump and you had vault shot on this too. As a hand cannon, it would be barrier hand cannon and the vault shot would just be great for overloads. So I could definitely say this is going to be worth getting some rolls off because it's a dope boss hand cannon. I just think 180s as well when it comes to uh, PvE. They definitely do a lot better than PvP. PvP, you can see, it was nice, but PvE is where these things truly do shine. Or shock. But that was a bad pun. I'm trying to try to say shock because it's a vault or an arc weapon, but <laughs> not really a great pun to be honest. It's kind of stupid. But this is where the Vault Shot that you can see it comes in really nice. And of course, Vault Shot is actually proc in the Iron Trait, which I didn't think it would actually do. But that is really, really sweet too. I mean, that just means that you can just spam the shots out and just get so much going. There's the explosion. There's Radio Laura going. Oh, man, it's just... This weapon is just so nice PvE. I'm telling you, this is going to be 100% worth getting some rolls off. And as I already kind of said, if anything, the best thing about this weapon is the sound. I mean, the sound on this is just... It's so glorious. There's the Vault Shot from then close though. 
But I mean, I honestly feel like a droid freaking trooper just going in just like just spraying bullets at people. <laughs> Kill the Jedi. Kill the Jedi. I can't do a good droid voice, guys. If you can do it one time, but I can't do it. <laughs> I will just say, every time I shoot the weapon, all I can think is Roger, 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 Roger. <laughs> every time I shoot something, it's so nice with the sound of the gun. As I said, this gun sounds, oh, it just sounds so freaking nice. Legit the best part of the gun, even though it's a dope ass weapon. But my favorite part is legit just the way the gun sounds. It just has such a, just a unique noise. I mean, probably other weapons who have this sort of sound too, but you can hear with every single trigger pull of this gun. 180 RPM as well. It goes so freaking fast. I will just say, oh. It's beautiful. I just love the freaking end part. Twangs, twangs. It's just some like small details, guys. It makes it go into so much better to use. It's just so much fun. Get this guy though, and oh, there's two people, man. Spawn camping is real in game. Or in this freaking game mode onslaught. Obviously, you guys see big ass yellow bars. This is where you probably want some damage buffs. So like uh, precision instrument is great and all that. Or else um, that's measures too you can get in this. So there is a lot more damage buffs you can get, but as I said. Bolt shot is just, it's so good PvE. I mean, it's probably the best kind of perk you can kind of go for. Let's go through real quick. Alrighty, final boss time, of course. Oh, with a little land can the cool. And here comes a vault shot. <laughs> oh, vault shot's so nice. I will say that, obviously, against the boss, this roll isn't particularly anything kind of, I'd say, useful. You're mainly going to be wanting, like, precision instruments and everything like that for uh, the bosses because you just get the damage going way more. But I still will say that this weapon overall. It still feels really, really nice. The precision on it is a really nice touch too, but I was not expecting it to do that well. I thought it'd be okay, but this has so much more going for it. I thought it'd just be kind of like a 180 PvP average. I do alright PvP or PvE with the Vault Shop, but this thing's absolutely beast in both, both scenarios. So I'd 100% be saying to you, if you do get some freaking rolls of this, do not sleep in it. This hand cannon is an absolute freaking beast. I know the RPM is definitely one of these where people don't use often, but... Gosh, that's about to freaking change, guys. This thing's absolutely freaking animal. Well, that's it for me. And, of course, the Sightline Survey hand cannon itself. As I said before, I didn't have too much, I'd say, um, confidence in this weapon before reviewing it. I thought it would have been, like, kind of a normal 180 and everything. But it has everything you kind of want. It's got all the good rolls for 180. So it has kill clip, which is great. Because a lot of them don't come with kill clip. And I will say PvP, you pretty much need kill clip or precision instrument to actually make them useful. It has, of course, the Vault Shot for PvE, which is just insanely good because you can just see, you can just do so well. Overload the Season 2, so as a hand cannon, it's really nice. Really fast RPM PvE too, so you can start spamming the shots. It's it's just so sick. And on top of all of that, just look at this thing. Look how vexy it looks, and then look at the freaking, or hear the sound of this when it shoots. Obviously, can't hear it now. But when I was in game, when you heard it shoot, this thing is just has everything it's good sounds good looks good ability i just think this is definitely worth getting a rolls off as i said you kind of get it from the quest line to guarantee your first one if you don't really do the quest you can try spam at engrams it might work but for the most part i definitely will say this i can 100 work it your hands on if you do get any rolls definitely keep them and this is craftable too so eventually you might be able to craft some rolls it might be worth crafting out a good roll for it as i said definitely give it a shot especially console users because I know I don't really use console myself, but I know for a fact 180s RPMs do insanely well on console. When you get the aim assist going on these, holy good god, are they sticky as hell. And this was already sticky on PC, so I could only imagine what console would be like. So 100%, I would definitely be looking at getting the rolls of this weapon worth it 1000%. This thing's absolutely nuts. But regardless, if you like the video, show us a like. I do want to see more content. Subscribe and fantastic day. And hopefully I'll see you at the next collective in the next one.